Wake Speed. Monitoring. On the Monitoring tab of the Wake Speed application, we'll be able to monitor real-time data of the battery and alternator. Begin by connecting your tablet to the Wake Speed regulator. Once connected, you'll see the connection icon appear in the top right of the app, confirming we are physically connected to the regulator. Swipe over to the monitoring screen of the app. First up on the monitoring screen is the battery. When multiple batteries are connected, they also show in this section and allow you to scroll in between. But for this example, we have just one battery, the house battery. You can see the measured voltage on this battery and the current going into it. You can also see how this will fluctuate as the alternator is increasing in its charging rate. With a temperature sensor attached, you can also monitor temperature. Below, we have the alternator that is connected. You can see the voltage as well as the amperage that the alternator believes is being produced. We also show temperature and utilization. Diagnostic. Now let's press the reset button on the regulator. You'll see all your monitoring dials are now grayed out as the wake speed is temporarily disconnected. As we reconnect, you'll see the regulator begins in standby mode and we can watch as it goes through its standby into ramping and into some more advanced charge modes. You can see the monitoring dials as they change in real time as well as the field drive. What we want you to be looking at is how the field drive increases along the current, amps and voltage. That's a quick diagnostic tool. We should be seeing the battery receiving current as the alternator starts coming upon its leg. This tells you everything is working as it should. And that's a quick overview of the monitor page on the Wake Speed app.